The ribs that Jalen taught me to make at Goldie's Barbecue were the best ribs I'd ever tasted. Now the ribs that I tasted at Bar A Barbecue down in Montgomery, Texas, that Cooper Abercrombie taught me to make, they were also spectacular and they also had this kind of cool multi-layer flavor profile that from a culinary perspective was really interesting and also delicious. So I can't help but wondering if there's a way to combine the best of both. To do the seasoning that Goldie's does on their ribs and to do the glaze that Bar A Barbecue does on their ribs and see if maybe I could create a Franken rib that's the best of both worlds. So today I'm making three racks of spare ribs. One the way that Goldie's makes them, one the way that Bar A Barbecue makes them, and one with Goldie's rub that they use for the ribs and with Bar A's glaze that they use for the ribs. And let's see of those three, which one turns out to be the best. Spare ribs come two to the package. So we got four racks, so we're gonna be able to pick the best three of these four to cook today. Here's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. All right, this one looks a little irregular. This one looks massive. This one looks, I feel like this is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Looks pretty good, got a little bit extra fat over here, maybe not a lot of meat over there. And this one looks perfect. Yeah, let's keep this one, let's keep this one, and let's keep this one. All right, we got our three. So let's get these cleaned up. So we'll start by taking the diaphragm off. I've got this weird piece of meat hanging off here that's gonna look better in a sausage pile. I'm actually gonna take these ribs off from this side. Let's take this whole piece, round this out. Now, as we've learned the best in the business, don't remove the membranes. So we're not gonna remove the membranes. So instead we're just gonna cook one, two, three racks of spare ribs. Okay, first we're gonna do the bar A style seasoning, which is diamond crystal kosher salt and 16 mesh black pepper. Good old fashioned Texas salt and pepper. And for these other two, we're gonna be seasoning the way Goldie's does with Goldie's all-purpose seasoning, the same thing that Jalen taught us to use when he taught us to make these. Definitely see that yellow color. Got the smoker started earlier. It's running at 275 degrees burning post oak. Let's go get these on the grill. As you can see, we got a couple of briskets cooking on here. They've been on for about two hours and uh, they're getting a little bit of color. They're looking good. So we're gonna scoot these back, make room for our ribs, and we'll be rotating these, but first we're gonna do the salt and pepper, and then the two Goldie style ribs. Normally I wouldn't check in on these for two, three, even four hours, but given the size of the fire, the fact that I got the briskets, that I got the smoker a little cramped, I think I'm gonna have to rotate the ribs a little bit. So I'm gonna come back in an hour, see how we're doing and do our first rotation. We're about an hour in on these uh, ribs, so let's go ahead and get in there and rotate them. So just pull these down. It doesn't look like there's a big difference between them, but I think rotating them is gonna be a good strategy for keeping things even. See you in an hour. Boy, we're coming along nicely. Our briskets look nice back there. Let's do another rotation on the ribs. I don't know how necessary this rotation is. It looks like the smoker's handling it okay. But even two hours in, these are looking nice. Remember, this is our salt and pepper one. Yeah, these are all really looking nice. And this salt and pepper one, really coming along together. All right, see you in an hour. At the four hour mark, boy, these are really starting to come together. I don't think we have much longer before it's gonna be time to wrap these. I think uh, maybe we'd better get started making our glazes before it's too late. First up is the Bar A Barbecue Rib Glaze, which if you've watched the channel recently, you've probably seen me make. And I got a nice surprise for you. 
after this. But if you're new here, we're starting with three cups of ketchup. We're gonna estimate a cup and a half of honey because if I put it in the measuring cup, it'll never come out. We got a pretty good eye. We put in our heaviest ingredient, a cup of brown sugar, then a cup of white sugar, a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of wash your sister sauce, a cup of white vinegar, tablespoon of onion, 16 mesh ground black pepper, tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of what Caleb Abercrombie likes to call God seasoning. Now, the recipe calls for a cup of water, but we found that we have to put in a little bit more than a cup to get to the viscosity that we want for not a barbecue sauce, but for a glaze. So let's pour ourselves out one bottle of the Bar A. Okay, now it's time for the surprise. After I made the Goldie's Rib video, one of you commented that Jerby actually had a video where he talked about the rib sauce. And I found it, and he actually talks about all of the barbecue sauces that they make down there. And uh, you guys should watch that video. I'm gonna put a link in the description so you can go see it. It's a great video, and he gives away a lot of good stuff in there. It's really generous of him to do that. But instead of guessing, this time I actually get to make the ribby sauce. So we're gonna start with two cups of ketchup. And then I'm gonna put in a cup of brown sugar, cup of white sugar, cup of apple cider vinegar, a cup of white vinegar, a tablespoon of onion, a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of cumin, and a tablespoon of black pepper. And here's where it gets really interesting. We're not putting in any honey, but we are gonna put in a quarter cup of molasses. And then check this out. This is Jervy's secret ingredient. This is a mushroom soy sauce. And I actually bought the same one that he uses in his video. And we're gonna put in a quarter cup of this. All right, we're gonna put in a little bit of water here, about a cup, and then we're gonna mix this and then we're gonna try to get to that same glaze consistency by adding more water. Still a little thick. Maybe a little bit more. All right, I think that is the consistency that we're looking for. I don't have any more of the three whole bottles, but this will have to do. Now you can see very different colors between the ribby sauce from Goldie's and the sauce from Bar A. Well, they had a lot of similar ingredients. These are gonna be very different from a flavor standpoint. Be really interesting to see how these things turn out. All right, let's go see if those ribs are ready to come off. Boy, I gotta tell you, I think this cooking at 275 for five hours is gonna end up being the key. These all look really good and they're just starting to break, which is the point where we wanna wrap them. So let's start with this Bar A one. And we're gonna put the Bar A glaze on both meat side and bone side. We're gonna be pretty generous with this because they were. Let's get this one wrapped. And then so I know which one's which, I'm gonna put a big B here for bar A. This one's a little further along, so we'll do this one next. This is the Goldie seasoning. And let's put the uh, bar A sauce on it. Again, we're gonna be nice and generous. And this one gets an H for hybrid. And this last, look at how beautiful this is. Might have been a little bit over trimmed, but other than not getting as many ribs out of it, I think this is a nice, meaty, great looking one. And we're going to be generous with this Goldie's ribby sauce. Now this is a little bit darker looking than the stuff we saw him use there, but this is the recipe that Jerby has. So that's what we're using. And this one gets a G for Goldie's and a J for Jerby and a smiley face. So these are all going into the warmer at 150 degrees. We're gonna let them rest until dinner time. Try to simulate what it's like uh, serving in a barbecue restaurant. And then uh, we'll be back to uh, slice these up, see how they taste. All right, before you start, I've got something to say. Okay. 
All right, I'm on a journey to eat the best ribs that I can eat. And on that journey, I've gone all over the state of Texas, and I happen to go to two places, Bar A Barbecue and Goldie's, and they're some of the best ribs I've ever had. Now, you're trying to see not only how they compare to each other, but can you make a perfect one? I mean, I can't make a perfect one. But what I can <laughs> Maybe do... Maybe a good hybrid of the two ideas. Yeah, like a hybrid, like... We'll say of the ideas. Learning from the masters. Yeah. Like... They talk to each other, so they've got good idea. But like, if I can figure out the best of each of them, then maybe both of them benefit. You guys are watching, right? Or or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe not, watch, but, but you know, maybe at least the best that you could do. Yeah. Of their versions of those ribs. All right. Well, we'll see. I think that's fair. Yes. So, you've watched all this as I prepared it, right? So you no. saw. I was taking a nap. Early, oh yeah. So, okay. Sorry. They know. By the way, guys, this is Nick. If you're new. He's the guy behind the cameras making all this stuff work. Just over there. Yeah, just over there, <laughs> right. So you've seen all of this. So you know how beautiful all these look. They look good. You're the one who had the idea, what if we use the Goldie's Rub mm -hmm. and the Barre Glaze? So is that your prediction, the hybrid's gonna be the best? Uh, yeah, not knowing anything about the way these came out, Hybrid's gonna be the best. Right. I think it's the best of both worlds. All right, so why don't we start in the order that we tasted them. We did the Goldies Let's do first, it. that's what we tasted. It looks great. Let's move these over. So we can do like, this is the rib treatment, right? We uh, we put them down, we get some so some of the juices. Dude, these that look That looks pretty amazing. Incredible, I can't even get all the juices onto it. So should we just go right out of the middle here? Sure. All right. So I'm gonna do one on this side of the middle and one on this side of the middle. So let's, uh, you're gonna, you should take the bigger one. You guys want one? All right, hang on. I'm gonna cut one for you guys too. All right, this is a, I mean, it's a good looking rib. That's a good looking rib. So should we uh, see how it tastes? Let's see. Look at that. Look at that. You're welcome. All right, here we go. Cheers. That's Goldie's rib. That's delicious. It really is. And I can taste the rub. And this mm -hmm. sauce, like it didn't look, the sauce, the, the glaze that they used at Goldie's was a little more red than this, right? But this tastes. So. As far as I can remember. Spot on, yeah. Bar A ribs next, right? All right. Okay. I, I remember these very well. Ooh. I don't know. That looks pretty good. <laughs> that look, does look pretty good. It's pretty good. Not and as much juice down below. Yeah, interesting. I don't know whether they absor absorbed better or I maybe didn't put as much on, but there we go. There we go. So I told you my prediction, but what, what do you think your prediction is going to be? It's, it doesn't feel right for me to say you're <laughs> right, but I think you're probably right. Yeah, well. All right. I mean, I might, I might right now, based on looking at this, feel like we're going to like this one Maybe better than we like the Goldies one, but it's I don't know. Say. It's hard to say. All right. I'll give this one farthest from you to them. Ooh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Wow. I like, so first of all, these might be better than the Redemption video ones, I think. I think cooking hotter at 275 instead of 250, mm -hmm. I think that makes a difference because I think these rendered really nicely. Super juicy, perfect. I can taste the multiple layers mm -hmm. that Cooper did. So like, I feel like we got that right. I am having a hard time, honestly, imagining what that hybrid's gonna be with yeah. the Goldie seasoning. I gotta take another bite. All this right, is, the is one this that... gonna be the ribs to beat all ribs? My precious. <laughs> oh, dude. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. So they all pass the look test. They do. And this one's got a similar amount of juice. So maybe it's the, maybe the glaze. consistency of the glaze. Maybe. Or the glaze penetrates a little bit better with some of their ingredients. They had slightly different ingredients and definitely different portions. That's true. Maybe the molasses slows it down maybe. or something. All right. You guys, you see this? Look at that. All right, here we go. A little piece of bark there. Yep. My By the favorite. way, so when the bark is coming off, make sure your last cut is away from you. All right, so this rack wasn't as meaty, but boy, that looks juicy. Mm -hmm. 
Which one? You, all right, you guys take the one closest to you. I'm going to take this one. So, wow. Goldie's Seasoning, Bar A Glaze, all right. Nick and Al's Mouth. You were right. Pays to be a winner. It does. I, That's I mean, fantastic. It's so good. So, Cooper, you created this multi-layer flavor profile. It holds here, That's but you're already time. using a seasoned salt on some of your other stuff. I would try that or maybe even try using the Goldie's AP and yeah. see well, if what he's that doing with those, combination. Uh, beef ribs. Or what you're doing with the beef, like that flavor combination with this glaze, cool. And hey, Johnny and Lane and Jalen, mm -hmm. you guys like created this whole another level. It was your ribs that got you on the Texas Monthly. But I think Cooper might be onto something with a glaze. Yeah, like yeah, don't change your menu. You guys have perfection, right? Sweetie. But yeah, but try this and just see if you think that you like this. And if you're at home, yeah, definitely do it this way. Mm -hmm. This is the one that's gonna get finished for dinner tonight, right? So listen, if you haven't seen the videos where those guys taught us, up here, I'm gonna put the Goldie's video where Jalen taught me to make ribs. And down here, I'm gonna put the Barre barbecue video where Cooper taught me how to make ribs. But at home, try it this way. Bye. And we'll see you on the next one.